I don't know. You said know we... you... This is 2OF Entertainment. Hello. Yeah, David did. Uh, David's been like a wild man. Yeah, lately. we He's got a new music and new. But I don't agree that everything is energy. I mean, it is energy, but uh, it's uh, the energy is a um, uh, transformer. It's a um, vehicle, also a tool. Mm -hmm. So I it's like not it. essential. The energy that it, there is around, it's every every there is everywhere energy. So. I like everywhere energy. I'm an everywhere there energy is no, kind of guy. There is no uh, bad or negative or positive energy. There is there, there are no judgment from the universe. Oh, you're bad. You're uh, everything is inside. Everything That's what I told the girl the other night. I said everything is inside. Yeah. Um, so and, is today's show about? And she was not happy about, about that. <laughs> And I said to her, Mother Superior. No. Um, so as um, is uh, um, chasing you now. I, 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 I do this all for Vicky, just to watch Vicky's face. When we used to do social intercourse with her and Rachel, I would say stuff just to get to look on Vicky's face. That was I all don't I think you about. can touch her with well, such silly she, things, call, empty plays, things. Every time, every time I, Vicky and I get together for coffee, first thing she does is play MC Hammer's Can't Touch That. And she does the dance with the pants. So, <laughs> really? Yeah, she's like, you can't touch that. Dun, 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 dun. Slides across the floor. It's very entertaining. Oh we can get free coffee because that of That brings so. back a lot of memory when I was I know, right? 20. <laughs> I love MC Hammer, man. He was oh, great. parachute pants. Is he alive? <laughs> he must be alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Live or dead? Should we play that game? No, he's alive. I think MC Hammer's still alive. He's probably late 50s, early 60s. So let's find out. We're a live show. We can do this. Oh, do it with your instinct because that's a tip topic. You think MC that he's alive? Oh, I was right. MC Hammer, ladies and gentlemen, is 62 years old. He was born on oh, March 30th, 1962. Yes. MC Hammer. Um, oh. Let's see. He now is a Christian. Oh, he Hammer and Friends, a Christian ministry program on TBN. Hammer was also a dance judge on Dance hmm. Fever in 2003 and co-created a dance website called Dance Jam. And there you go. But we remember him only from one song. And yeah, this, is, yeah. this was always my fear, you know, as an artist, that they will remember me from one work. But it's better to remember you from one work than no work. <laughs> that, <laughs> is <true. laughs> that is true. That is true. It's a big difference, you know, the big difference between zero and one. Then right. you can exactly. get to the million easier from one to million. Right. The big, the big step is from zero to something, from nothing to That's something. Correct. Well, of course, there is no at... nothing. Oh, also, but there is this choice, this tiny little choice that we have in life, and we right. think that we have a lot of choices. Well, we have a lot of choices, but uh, those tiny choices, there is, I don't believe really in the free will in a way. So, are we, when we talk about choices, are we going to talk about instinct? Or are we going to talk yeah, about choices what is, or what is yeah, a choice? This what is, is instinct? This, this is inside the topic because yeah. uh, what is instinct? For me, instinct, because I was thinking about it for many years, you know, what, what is instinct? Yeah. I, I, I was saying that instinct comes to place into specific time of your life, uh, specific uh, moments where uh, you need to take fast decisions in a way, you know? And it comes in a form of um, condensed knowledge. I don't know. I was thinking about it like it's kind of condensed no knowledge, which you don't plan in the way. I mean, the opposite of instinct is kind of planning, right? That, okay, I'm not going to take a sudden decision. I'm going to work things out. I'm going to think. I put the information that I have here, the, the data that I have. And I think, oh, one right. and one equals it's two 17. or something sure. like that. And... So I'm not going totally with instinct, although we use the instinct all the time in a way. Right. Yeah, but is, there's a difference between planning and instinct. Like the instinct to me is more, and we'll and we'll get Vicky's a woman's perspective because Vicky's a woman. Last time I and saw women have a stronger yeah, instinct. Than they have they a good instinct, but like to me, yeah, women. Are, <laughs> um, women have a strong instinct, but it seems to me instincts for me like a gut feeling. Like if I'm doing a deal and I get like that feeling in my gut or that voice in my head, and I got a lot of voices up there, but if I get a voice in my head that says, don't do this, don't do that, 
be careful of this. That to me is instinct. If I'm going to yeah. do planning, then all of a That's sudden that's a form of instinct. Go. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So Vicky, what is, what is you, you women have instincts and intuition and except when I watch social intercourse mm. with you and Rachel, of course, you apparently have nothing except toys and robots, but anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go by instinct. <laughs> well, I mean, I, you know, I, I think, um, I, I agree with you in a certain, certain extent. I, I don't think instinct and intuition are different. So okay. intuition oh, we have intuitions also. Okay. Yeah, right. You get That's your feelings different. are out and you're like, oh, I have a feeling that this might be right or wrong or dangerous or not. But instinct, I think, can be counterproductive. Like okay. It can go against your own best interest, right? This is the whole lemmings over the cliff and moth to a flame kind of thing. Your instincts can get you into trouble as right. well as they can help you out, right? They can keep you from death or they can lead you so to it's death. Tri- it's kind of like 50 50. <laughs> wow. I mean, it could great. be good. It could be bad. It's something to me that you, your, your gut fights against your brain and you you know, something right. stupid, but you do it anyway. To me, that's instinctive behavior. Okay. Or, you know, it's good. And you do it anyway, even though your brain says, you know, don't go to South Korea for three months. That's financially stupid. And I go, no, I'm going to go anyway. <laughs> Not that she's going to take anything from her real life. <laughs> so, but what's the difference with intuition? Yeah. Because I was putting them all into instinct. I think it's different though. Intuition, I think intuition to me what's is, the that is more helpful. I think, I think it's more helpful to me. Intuition is mother's intuition. You know, your child's in trouble right. intuition about, you know, making this decision about maybe not, turning right or left because you get a weird feeling about that alley down the corner, you know, and you find out that Jack the Ripper's down there or something like that to me. But it's, but it's still intuition positive. or instinct, you see? So it's kind of of the same mm. kind. Maybe it's not They're the same, close. but it's kind of the same kind. Let's find I think, out. I think an intuition to me is more helpful in preserving yourself, your life, and instinct can lead you off a cliff or it can help your life to me it's that's the the difference one's 50 50 and one is more positive but that's just my own okay what's, what's according it, to according according right that you know it's exactly where i'm going according to miss like, you- marion webster um an instinct if you will is a fixed pattern or behavior in animals in response to certain things birds have an instinct to build a nest that's interesting. Okay, so let's see. Instinct means. So you first. see, it's kind of knowledge in a instinct, way. Instinct, instinct is the natural tendency that a person or an animal has to behave or react in a particular way. They do not have a strong material instinct as some other a mother. Son of a, okay, so instinct is something that is inherently, if for lack of a better term, bred into us. You know, um, I guess Your nature, intuition. Yeah. Is, yeah. So intuition is going to be like. You know, like you're like, oh, I have a bad feeling. The like feeling bad, bad that feeling. this choice is better than the sense. other, right? It's this, if yeah. people not watching this show it's are just on drugs, I don't understand why. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> yes. So, so you can, My we can, we can, was we can to not watch this show this morning, <laughs> but I did that was it anyway. the But the intuition yeah. told, no, you have to watch this. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> because All you right. uh, missed something cool. very important for the life. Intuition is uh let's see is this correct yep independent reasoning yeah so what we just said direct perception of the truth the facts independent of reasoning process immediate apprehension um a fact a truth a perception in this way what does it mean to be have a meaning of intuition the ability to understand to know something without needing to think about it or use a uh, reason to discover it or feeling that slow shows its ability you should trust your instinct to make a decision roll. Well, thank you very much, Google. Um, so yeah, so instinct <laughs> and intuition are two different things. So there yeah, you but they are of the same kind. Yeah. Kind of. Instinct, it sounds like it's in Because both, you know, both like, do not like use the, um, both them, they don't use the reason that we, okay, the reason that we humans have, because the instinct yeah. exists also in animals and they don't have the reason yeah. that we have. But we are also animals, so we have also instinct right. with some things, like for danger stuff, uh, you know, it's an instinct. But intuition is more sophisticated. It, I think it is of the same kind because it's it's a little more uh, metaphysical. I mean that mm. it's, it's source, it's more, how did I know that this road to the left or to the right is the right road? You know, you just used 
in, uh, intuition there. You cannot use instinct I, because there is nothing to tell you about the instincts. There is just two roads that are similar, right? Exactly. Or, like okay, you're, like you're there are other situations you're... in life that you have to choose. Yeah. And uh, you don't have much time, so you choose by intuition. Right, because... in, so, so intuition is different than instinct. Because instinct we're saying is in, like a, with an animal or a human, you're kind of born with it. You have an instinct, like with the example, either you want to be a mom or you don't, right? You have the instinct, you have that motherly instinct. Mothers yes. don't have, they you're have intuition. You're with that. Right, yes. but intuition is different. Intuition is, I, I don't know. Is that the child is in danger? Is that the child not be in danger? Or... Because he has a screwdriver. And he's putting in the light sockets. Smart parents. Okay, I will um, tell you. I will <laughs> tell you my intuition. Those uh, because uh, three days ago I had birthday, and, and it was birthday. Thank you, you very much. You look good for someone that's 107. You. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Did David send you a card? 110. Did David yeah. send you a birthday card? No, but it's okay. I don't need. I mean, this bastard. I know that he, he wishes me <laughs> this. He's gonna wish you something when I get done. So, with but him. I tell you, I tell you the story because <laughs> all okay. day. I had a kind, strange feeling, you know, and okay. sometimes I often, know, as you know, I often think about death and uh, oh, yeah. and sometimes <laughs> death comes into my mind like, like this, it's like a strange feeling. And I say, because I have arranged with friends that we're going to go to a tavern, I had to drive 20 kilometers with my electric bike. And I say, oh, you have to be, you have to, <laughs> you have to be careful today because it's a dangerous <laughs> day. Imagine, yeah. imagine like dying the day that you were born you know it's, it's a clear case oh he lived 52 years old that's the age that i have and uh not one day more just uh, 52 years but, and so the was, most embarrassing uh, but the most embarrassing thing about this whole the whole thing would be you die on an electric bike just so we're clear <laughs> you, know, you can be. buy you can be well you can buy with a normal bike and die mm. walking you know <laughs> Well, it can it can drive fifty kilometers per hour, and if it's uh, you know a steep how many, wait, how, down, how many meters? Can, how many, how many cal kilometers an hour can it take? It can it can go fifty kilometers, or it can go a little wow. faster if you go down. A, a whole thirty well, miles not, an hour. Well, I'm if you not go that down much hill, with it goes the... faster. Okay, <laughs> let me finish the story. Okay. So uh, I had this feeling that. Yeah. Uh, so I say, yeah, let's 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 be careful. But I'm always careful in a way. What well, what can I mean? Sure. It can happen anywhere. But let's let's care be careful a little more today. I don't know right. because of that feeling. So I go and find my friends there, and the friend comes late, and he, oh my god, a friend of mine, a neighbor, died today, and I saw him today morning. He was okay, and it was oh. his birthday. Oh, oh my god! I say it was the same birthday as my oh. birthday. Yeah, he got died birthday an electric today. Bike? No, no, no. She was okay. uh, older. <laughs> she is. She just died from from heart. Okay, uh, heart attack. Uh, and okay. then, and then another friend calls me from Poland. Totally, yeah. you know, uh, uh, there is no connection between the, between the stories. The the friend that came to me and tells me this, my feeling this, and the friend, the Polish guy. He calls me, oh, happy birthday. I know who other her birthday. I, I you know. I I knew who had birthday, but he's not alive anymore. No, no, right. my, my, my son, he's 17 and has birthday. And I say, look, another point to the same thing. And this is, and this is what I call, it might be, it might not be, it was with Jung, Carl Jung, the famous, probably one of the best uh, psychotherapists that uh, mm -hmm. there was. Mm -hmm. He was talking about synchronicities. Synchronicities okay. was a concept that he, uh, along with Pauli, another, uh, another scientist, he also got a Nobel uh, from physics. They were talking about this notion about things like normally in life everything has a causal, it's 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 a causal, uh, uh, you know, uh, things that something causes something cause else to happen. Yeah, cause, cause and effect. effect. Cause everything is cause and effect. Mm -hmm. Something happens, except from those things that appear to have a connection, meaningful connection. So it's about meaningful because when I. When I have a feeling about death and it's my birthday, and I say, "Oh, come on, don't die of your birthday," and then your friend comes to you, and a, a friend of me died today, and he had a birthday. Right. It's it's not causal and effect, but they they share the same kind mm -hmm. of meaning, and this is synchronicity. Right. And another guy calls and says, "Oh, my son has birthday today," and you see that's another thing that is pointing to the birthday. It's, the, the the initial thing that uh, you know right. triggered the, the whole thing. 
Well, the, and, the lesson um, I've learned here is don't have your birthday on your birthday. That's it. So people that have your birthday, they need to change it legally because uh, it's a bad day. <laughs> no, but it, it doesn't happen all the time, you know. It's, oh, okay. uh, it just happened this, this day. Sometimes happens to me without birthday, okay? It's, uh, okay, then that's okay. Because you don't want to die on your birthday. That would be terrible. No, you don't know. You don't want to die anyway. But uh, <laughs> no. you're going to die. I mean, like, I was thinking about this the other day as I was throwing someone off a roof. I'm kidding. Nunzio and Rocco did it. I just stood there. Um, I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about, like, death and itself. Like, I was talking to someone. We were talking about a deal we were doing. And they said something. And I said, listen, it is what it is. Life is a game. And, and the game of life is for you just to get as much out of it as you can, whether it's financial or living or seeing or going to Korea for three months because you don't have a clue. Um, any of that is cool. But at the end of the day, the game, if you will, like a basketball, baseball, has a time period. And at the end of the time period, mm -hmm. you die. And then you go to whatever the next game is, if you will. And so so that's – and that and we were talking about that. And so I, I look at it very – I think logically now more when I was younger, it's like, Oh my God. Oh my God. So to me, it's more like, it's a game. I've got it. I understand the game now. The game is you just, so you that's your intuition about death. It. What else is there? I can't listen. You can't believe the mumbo jumbo that's written in the fable because the fable has been copied from the Mesopotamians and all this other stuff. And you can go, as we talked about to the online, to the British museum, it has all the books. You can read the book of Adam who talks about Adam and Eve, the garden of Eden being, uh, a laboratory where they make human beings. So you can read all this. And then if you read the CIA's thing called the Gateway Project, we all go back to the absolute because we're all energy. So if you read all of this and we still don't know, you won't know until you go. So when I think about that and I'm like, all right, I'm good. You know, like, and I've seen or heard things over the years and I'm like, I, th I believe there's but something. I just don't know what There is. is no other way. You have to be yeah, good. Oh, well, yeah. Some people don't. I mean, Howard Stern, Bill Maher, we a lot have, of these guys are atheists and they're like, when I die, We I have die. millions of like, expe expectations yeah. about life, which none of right. it can happen. But the That's only true. thing that will happen is that we're going to die. It's yeah. like the old thing. There's only two things certain in life, taxes and death. Taxes are not so sure. Yeah, well, he doesn't pay so years. much tax. Depends on who you are. It's not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it depends on how much. Yeah, the more you have, the less you pay. You still, right, that's very true. We pay, pay. we pay about four dollars a year. <laughs> but anyway, um, but we we pay, but you everyone pays something on tax wise, right? And but the same point, everyone dies, and then our conversation went. Yeah, that but you too. can avoid taxes. Death, you cannot <laughs> avoid. And you, you cannot avoid time. it even by th by a thought because your mind yeah. knows very well. Although it can it cannot accept it in a right. how can it uh, it can accept it? You see, it yeah. makes uh, it, what, it puts I, intuition most, into into work and it says, I, "Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna uh, disappear. Like how? Yeah. I am here. here like here's what's, here's what's funny. Where this is gonna go from instinct to intuition, and we're gonna talk about death." Because death is kind of funny um, in its own way. If you always look on the bright side of life, according to Monty Python. Um, death is this. I was thinking about this when I was walking in the dog. Yep, then always look on the bright side of death. Anyway, um, I, was look, I was thinking about this when I was walking my dog the other day. You know, I, I think, I was thinking, well, I don't know what made me think of it. I was thinking of the light bulb. And I said to myself, not everybody knows that Thomas Edison, if you will, was one of the inventors of the light bulb or founded GE, General Electric. If you ask a generation of kids today, tell me who invented the light bulb or who's the founder of GE, they won't know. And what brought me to this is I was looking they at my phone. can ask the AI. It knows well, everything. Forget, that. forget the AI for a second. I'm just saying people with knowledge, right? So if you say to certain kids of a certain age, who founded Apple, they don't know. If you ask them who founded Facebook, I think a big percentage will still say um, the robot, that guy. Um, Tesla, nobody cares. Um, but I'm just saying there's certain companies where you mention a name and you know, but it's even like an actor or, or a musician or whatever. All these people want to live forever. They want 10,000 years for people to go, oh, Donald Trump was, no one will remember you in 10,000 years. You're lucky if they remember you in 500 years. And that's what I find yeah. fascinating about it. People are trying to well, figure ask, out how ask they people are twenty around. years after ten years after your death. Well, it depends who it is. Five like Muhammad years. Ali's, Muhammad Ali's been dead for a while, and people still revere Muhammad Ali, right? Um, you, it depends who you are. Buddha's been dead for thousands of years, and people still do the Buddha. 
Um, I rub his belly at all the restaurants because I think it's just how you're friendly. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, oh, he likes it. He's smiling. He loves it. Um, but I'm just saying, I think people are so, they're so worried about their immortality. And it's so, and I think they miss, especially nowadays with the phone. And it's like, it didn't happen unless you have a picture. I don't think pictures of Jack's squat. I just want to enjoy the moment. I like the moment I'm in is, is what I enjoy. And I think that's part of your intuition and your, and your instinct, all of that, you just have to be present. And I think that's a big issue that people don't have. But what does it mean? Well, because about, if you bring, what? yeah, say, say, Vicky. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just no. thinking about you say because death. So what, what if you have an instinct that leads you to your own death? Then that's fine. That's your, that's your thing. Like, you know, like what, you, but what is that? Yeah, but if it's, a, if it's, what a, is if it? it's an inborn thing in your nature to, you know, you instinctively Live. try and preserve your life, right? Like you, right. if you're walking in front of a car, you, you dodge it. Like there, you, right. you try and it's your instinct to make your flesh suit keep going. Right. So <laughs> my flesh suit. Yes. What about for, yeah. So what about like, it's, 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 it's so trite. Cause we talk about that all the time, but the lemmings that go off a cliff or a moth that goes to a flame or something that leads right. you to your own death. That's instinctive, which is going against your instinct to preserve your own life. That to me is kind of fascinating. People that want to live, but you mean you mean the, you know. the, the intuition that oh, for example, you're gonna die. Whatever you will do as an instinct to preserve yourself, oh, there comes one day, and that day is today, maybe. You have that intuition. Right. So we're talking about the feeling that you know the future. You can foresee foresee things, right? That's one of that's the, intuition, I, mean, I think. Is it, yeah, you know, when people but anyway, say, oh, I, I, I put it in. The, I put those into the same kind. They are different, but they are the, of the same kind because okay. you cannot put mm -hmm. them into logic, into reason. How did the guy know about his future? I mean, or any kind of future, or how did he know that this path is the right one? Well, he, we never know because you take mm -hmm. this path. You know, you don't know what happens right. to the other path. But if you're okay finally with the path, you say, "Hmm." It's good that I took taken this path, so you're happy with the with, mm -hmm. with that path. But you never know what would happen if you would take the other path. You know, I agree with that. True. I think it, I think that's well. If, unless all realities are happening at the same time, and you know, in quantum physics or whatever, where everything is, there's many all the, the different paths right? and we have possibilities and everything. Yeah, are like happening the block in universe the that exact everything's same point. happening in, the, in, but we have to perceive it as a arrow of time. As one, maybe, yeah. mm. maybe, maybe that's uh, also if if we are in the space time reality, which we right. are now, we are bound by the space time, by the, the laws of the space time, like v gravity and the arrow of time, mm -hmm. entropy, all those right. laws that we cannot escape, and we have to live inside those laws. It's it's it, it, we have a specific design. We cannot. We try to alter it. Some people, you know, alter it uh, uh, aesthetically. They put tattoos, they yes. paint their hair and everything like that. So in a way, it's things. trying to alter your, your, uh, how you look, how, how, how you are in a way, because the looks is part of what you are, but normally they give information about who you are also. So the uh, appearance, it's a way Boy, to... Have a quick, when you talk about that, first of all, we have to say hello to Dawn. Dawn's one of our, our, our only fan, and she's on today. So hello to Dawn. Um, we always say hello to her. Hello, Dawn. Um, number, hello, Dawn. And number two, tattoos. So if you're a college girl or a university girl, and you get the, the, what they call it, a tramp stamp, Vicky? I'm not that's saying that you have one. That's um, old, but, but yes. That, yeah. That, 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 but it's like, that's not who you are. That's like you were drunk one night and you went out with your girlfriends and you're like, I'm going to do that too. And then that's, I think, a little different. Don't you but think? But why, you know? why, why you are not this also? You are you also this. It's also one day visible. drunk and one day doing like stupid or not stupid. Well, taking one decision like that probably means that it's not much of importance to you. Just make a tattoo. That's it. I think I think people getting tattoos, that's their own thing. Now, some of them, like if you're like a, in the, the Samoa Islands or if you're in the triad in you know, Japan or like one of those, everything you do has a meaning. I think a lot of people get them. But a lot of people no do meaning. tattoos with a meaning. 
that oh, they put something I, like from they don't, a, but I'm just, something I'm, in there. Uh, but I'm just saying uh, something that, could happen in their life. No, no, I agree with that. But I'm just saying I think if you if I go to if I'm going to go to Samoa, or I'm going to go to Thailand, or I'm going to go to Japan, or I'm going to go where the masters are, where they use the old method of a stick, and not the the tool. I'm not taking away anything from the tattoo artists that use the you know the electric thing. But I'm just saying there's there's more to me significance then. All of a sudden, it's like. It's like smoking a cigar. It's very yeah, very because boring. it's woven differently in the culture. It's more deep right. and more fundamental. But uh, yeah. look, by years, maybe the tattoos that we have in the West will become this part of the culture, and it's still right. everything. Although tattoos, know. you know, they are for know. many uh, hundreds of years they exist. Like pirates had it. Yeah. Almost forever, them. but okay. you guys have tattoos? I have no tattoos. No, I don't have. I have tattoos. Do you want? Do you have Vicky? Because you got oh, yeah. she got she got a tram stamp and she's got one. <laughs> now I have name. let's see, one, two, three, four, four. Do they wow. mean something? Do they mean yeah. something to you? Yes. Oh, really? She's yeah. like And I got them like later him? on in life because I thought I would <laughs> I thought I would choose them when I was younger and, and get the tramp stamp or something stupid and really regret it. So I waited <laughs> right. to make sure it was important in this. But do they have the same meaning that they had Initially, when you when you uh, made the tattoo, mm -hmm. or it the meaning has oh, changed yeah. somehow. Now it became a memory of that moment, or something like that. No, it was very deliberate. It wasn't like an in the moment mm -hmm. kind of choice thing. I so you didn't lose the meaning time. that it had initially. Mm -mm. Okay, you see? Nope. Every I think it's I, like I don't have any. Um, I don't have either, but that doesn't yeah. mean that others don't have. <laughs> no, no, others should. I've dated girls that have had tattoos, and I've dated girls that don't have tattoos, and I don't really care. I don't. It, I know people call it art. Some of them, um, overseas, especially in Asia, some of the guys I see with their tattoos, and even the girls. Oh my God, it's like looking at the Mona Lisa. Like you just want to like stare at. I'm like, I'm like, no, no, come here. I gotta stare at this. I get like you literally have to just look because it's so intricate. Yeah. Um, and they don't mind, like they get it, that it's like they understand what they're wearing and they're like, oh right. yeah, and this is, and it's great. Mm -hmm. But there's also that perception, like you can't see mine, but like with the Yakuza and stuff like that, you you actually can't go into a lot of onsens, the um, Japanese uh, like spa, Brothers. I guess. Oh. That's not really, like a, <laughs> like a sure. what do you call Brothel. it? Like a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> no, like a hot like a hot spring kind of thing with oh yeah the like a hot tub place anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nonsense, I got it. I, yeah right you you can't go into those public ones with a tat with a tattoo really because of its ties back to the yakuza and the, yeah you're banned okay. from going in with the tattoos but oh, um, it's slowly changing and korea they're still illegal technically oh um, so yeah it's law to get them right. but yeah really? but there's tattoo artists i've got three of mine there um they're everywhere but but did you do not allowed <laughs> But coming well, back to, to our back. topic, did you do some uh, tattoos with your instinct? Like you said, I'm going to do this tattoo. I don't know why I want nope. to do this tattoo, but uh, I want to do this tattoo. Uh -uh. No, oh, it's so no, deliberate. Uh -uh. It was uh, intuition, I guess, more than instinct for me. Because, oh, okay, yeah. intuition. It's the same yeah. for yeah. me. Yeah. Interesting. For sure. I don't know that I've done a lot by instinct. I don't know that I... No, no, trust, no. Intuition. What we, intuition. What we are... More what, than my instinct. Yeah, because I put them into the same kind of thing, uh, we are talking more about the intuition here. Right. Because the mm -hmm. instinct that we have and the animals have, okay, it's let's say it's a condensed knowledge. That, uh, uh, but this intuition, let's, let's ask them, is it a kind of knowledge in a way? Is it a kind of uh, um, things that we already possess inside our, he our heads or somewhere, I don't know? And we use them in specific moments of our times where, where we need it. I don't know. Uh, it's not a lot, a, lot, a lot of time, or, or there is no info. What to decide actually? And then we say, my intuition tells me to go there. I don't know why. I'm not going to ask even why because I'm not going to take any answer because I tried this. Like the two roads, I said, mm -hmm. they are identical. There are two roads in the mm -hmm. forest, and they're just left and right. I don't know. Let's go there. Listen, Intuition. when there's a fork in the road, the great Yogi Bear said it best. When you come to a fork in the road, you just take it. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, the strange uh -huh. thing is that in general, we do a lot of stuff, stuff by intuition. 
Right. And uh, later, then we, at the end of the day, we go and sit and think, and oh, I did this today, and this, and this, and this. Very reasonable thinking. Mm -hmm. And then you judge yourself in a way, oh, did I do the things that I wanted to do? Was I good? Or, or all those things that we judge in a way right. about our lives. We do it also for lives of others. We judge other people. It's normal in a way, because it's so, so, you know, mm -hmm. a, 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 the, the people are saying, don't judge the others. Don't judge. We, we do it by default. We have to judge the others because of instinct now, not even intuition, instinct, the, the primordial uh, the tool that we have to survive mm -hmm. because we don't want to, sure. yeah, we don't want well, to be around with people who might harm, uh, harm us or, or do something perceive, wrong or, or we or waste perceive. our time with those guys or something right. like that. Or you perceive that they'll harm you. There's a difference. Hmm. You don't know that they'll like you. You don't know. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's scary, and you're like, oh, he's yeah, gonna that, hurt me, or she's that's gonna how hurt it, me. And you that's how it works. That's why yeah. intuition sometimes makes mistakes. It's not yeah. that it's always right, but sometimes, in a crazy way, it is right. Yeah. I'll tell you another story. But, but I was very young. I was. Uh, it was 1984. It was my first visit to a Greek island when we were already here. We we're living in Athens, so we went to this island called Lesbos. I was for 12, oh, it was 16 maybe, I don't know, 14, 16, 12 or 14. And um, uh, I, had a, I had a watch, it was a gift, it was an expensive watch and I was very uh, fond of uh, watches, collecting the watches and everything like that. So at some point we were uh, uh, renting this apartment, I couldn't find my watch. I was, and, and you know, I was very careful with my watch I knew it where it was all the time. I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. I was searching the room all over again. I was sharing the room with my sister, younger sister. And what the hell is going on? And at that point, I was still a Christian. And I asked God to help me, you know. God help me because I need to find the watch. Because first of all, I need... There is not Stephen, okay? We are alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We don't need him. <laughs> he wasn't listening anyway. And, <laughs> yeah, he wasn't. He doesn't care. And uh, and uh, I say, God help me uh, to find the, the, the watch. And then instantly, I look up on the top of the uh, wardrobe, right? Uh -huh. The wardrobe, yeah. the, the clothes. And I put a chair, you know, to step on it and look on top of it. And then it was there, the, 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 the watch was there. And I didn't put it there. Nobody put it there. I mean, nobody from the guys that I know, from my family. And I was thinking then why, first of all, it was crazy that I asked for help and I got the help. Mm -hmm. I got the help. So, so instinct, intuition told me, let's say, why don't you watch there? That somebody put me the intuition uh -huh. into it. I mean, instantly. And I've been thinking for, even now I think about it. And it's been like, uh, I don't know, 40 years, almost. And uh, I, I, I don't have an answer about this. How, what made me look at... It was crazy thing to make me look at there. What, what would make me think that there was my watch over there, up there? I didn't put it there. And then later I was thinking, why, why was the watch was there? And uh, I came to the conclusion that probably the, the guy who had the house, the apartments, he was cleaning around, said, oh, nice watch. I'm not going to steal it, but I'm going to put it there. So in case they make a, you know argument, uh, we, the renters, oh, where is the watch? Because they was cleaning the watch every morning, you know. But it's uh -huh. still here. We will be watching around. Oh, it's still here in case we found it, right? Right. So but he didn't say anything. He yeah. just kept the watch. So uh, that was See, the you know, only. I'm thinking, was... it's a, I'm thinking it's a ghost. I was like, no, of course the ghost took it and put it up there. That's my first thought. Yeah, well, I, well but the ghost is of different kind. He lost this his is internet, a real so. guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He became the instinct he now. He's he's became <laughs> he became the intuition now. He's. Stephen helped me with some things that I have in my life to, to put to decide what's the what the, the right road. <laughs> so right. so there exactly. there are and if I think more about it, you know, I'll come come out with more uh, stories about where intuition, you know, is working and took place and uh, help me, you know. Uh, to do my job i mean it's, it's crazy so i was steven, steven i was talking about this watch i'm going to say it quickly again 
and uh, I couldn't yeah. find it. So I asked God, I was uh, believing in God at that time, help me find it. And immediately he points me to me at the wardrobe. Go up nice. the wardrobe. I put the chair and it was there. Nice. And, and it was crazy. Is that, God or in, is that God or intuition or is that just memory saying I had the watch here though? What no, I didn't put the watch there. I didn't. I couldn't. Oh, okay. there's, there was no logic for me to put. The, I needed to put a chair. I needed right, to put right, it right. there and take the chair. I wouldn't remember it. I, nobody did it. I asked my sister. She didn't do it. She was younger and she knows uh, right. not to do it because I. I asked for everybody. Help. I everybody I knew my love to this watch. You know, right. it's was important I I, thing. I don't know if I ask God for help. Like I feel like I'm God right now because I'm not in the picture, but I'm speaking. I don't know if I ask God for. I have the universe. I guess that's like asking the gods or God, depending on who or what you want to believe, right? Because I think there's more than one God. I don't think it's uh Yeah, but the, the God is a, a way to sp of speech. It's a, it's a, it's a, no, 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 I guess like it's, it's, it's like going out, just a concept. It's going out to the universe, right? The like absolute. The, yeah, the yeah, universe the is the absolute. The nature is the absolute. God is the absolute. Uh, right. The absolute is the absolute. You know, it's it's Correct. like this. Well, the we don't know what God is. We don't know what the universe is. So. Well, the universe, we have a perception, which is wrong. And the absolute, yeah. I think, is phenomenal. Like, I don't think Vicky's ever read that paper from the CIA. It, you can get it online. But it's very interesting. It tells you how to astro project. And it talks about what they found and what, they, what the absolute is in other dimensions and other beings. And um, some people say it's like when you're on, what's it, ayahuasca? So I thought that was kind of interesting. So, yeah. So it's an interesting thing. It seems like instinct is something that is strictly internal and your um intuition if we're going off adam's story is maybe right. external stimulus or external help or whatever but it's, it's something still, that comes from but it still in comes from out. somehow inside because you ask yourself you, you ask your insight uh, when you say god yeah. help me Right. It looks like a projection toward outside, but in fact, it's uh, you're talking to yourself because you're thinking. I didn't say it loudly, I think. I don't know. Maybe I said it loudly, but there was nobody in the room. I was alone. <laughs> how loud do you have to be to ask him for God? It, it, it. It's, not, it's not about how loud you have to be. You, you, you can use no external voice. You just think about no, it. No, no, I it don't. It may happen. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it's like with intuition, like with intuition, you don't have time to think. Mm. Like, look, uh, when we, we have all encountered some kind of accident, right? Thank God we, mm. we probably were not in a very, very bad accident where maybe somebody died or uh, we were because we are still alive, so we didn't die from an accident. But during an accident, you re realize that the time is running in a different pace it's not running so mm -hmm. not so fast but not in the same way as it happens normally so and we know we know about time that the nature of time is that even in this universe when you are close to a uh, let's say a planet or something that is very close to a black hole and it's you know right uh, following the black hole and turning around the black hole the time is uh, spinning much faster there because you are mm -hmm. running faster. Also, if you, this is science, what I'm telling you. If you have a yeah. spaceship that is very close to the speed of light and you go to the right. first other sun that we know, that it's uh, uh, Alpha, Alpha Centauri's, that's 4.3 mm -hmm. light years. So let's say that right. you're very close because we cannot uh, have this uh, uh, speed, the uh, speed of light, uh, close to this. And we travel and we go and come back. It needs eight and a half years for us. Mm -hmm. Well, the time for the guys who were in Earth, who are not at that kind of speed, is running slower. So, sorry, it's mm -hmm. running faster. Mm -hmm. So when you go back, go back with the same age that you were, not the same, 8.5 older, the mm -hmm. other guys, are going to be much older, like going, going to be They'll like be 40. Dead. Be I, dead. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're going to be dead. Uh, dead. I, 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 but there, there are going to be. So what happens with the time? So time is not fixed in a way. You, ca you cannot say that there is one uh, same, uh, you know, uh, percentage of time that flows to everybody. It depends on how fast you 
travel also on, on somewhere because we travel all the time we travel now on earth which is going around sound sun which is going somewhere inside the uh, milky way which is turning around also mm -hmm. which is going to meet andromeda you have to put all those speeds together to, to see <laughs> your traject traject trajectory trajectory yeah. yeah, we have a trajectory. Mm -hmm. Actually, when I talk with people and we're looking at summer, sometimes we go to the beach and we look at the stars and mm -hmm. I say, I can show you where are we going to? Say, where are we going to? And I told mm -hmm. you, you see this small dot there. We can see it with our eyes if we focus somehow, and especially with peripheral uh, vision. You can see the Andromeda galaxy. We are going to meet them, the Andromeda galaxy. This is our direction, our trajectory. Right. We're going there. If you want to know, you know, this kind of speed, because even those have speed inside the greater uh, location of uh, local clusters of uh, other galaxies, etc., etc., and like Nikia. So there are a lot of speeds. But, I, but when I was in my accident, I've been in several, but when I was in my one where I was going to die, I don't think time did anything. It just was time. It didn't speed up. It didn't slow down. It didn't, none of it. It was just sort of like, okay, this is what it is. But even with most small accidents, you feel that the time is changing. Oh, I don't think, I don't because, think this was a small what accident. What happened to this me? A, and, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This it's was, a perception. Like a, it's a perception. Maybe the time doesn't change. I don't, Maybe I don't, the perception I didn't see it. It, changes. I don't it know. Didn't, my perception didn't change. It, it was a yeah, big explosion and that was it. And it was like, okay, I got shit I got to do. And then that was it. And that, so there was no perception of time or whatever. It's a perception of I have to get A, B, C, and D done, or I'm not going to make it to D, F, G all the way. To yeah, D. what intuition actually told, told you, because you don't have much time to say, hmm, there was an accident, something just mm -hmm. exploded, and I am in a danger. You don't have time for this. You know, you just take cover, or I don't know what that's you when, do. That's when, oh my that's God, when am I alive? Am I, I was, in time? I was I was in the explosion. I was it was big 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 explosion. I was in the so middle. So you see even there's more. No, there's no this in, it's all about instinct at that point. It's all about okay, I'm literally on fire. What am I going to do? You know. And so I didn't have any marshmallows. So which I was very upset. About. But, <laughs> but so but, then you. But I'm pretty sure it didn't out. happen even this way. Oh, I mean the fi fire was going to do no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> <let's>... <laughs> I will tell you. You wanted to. You know. You talk about oh God help and all this other in the universe and whatever. I will tell you though. When I was when the when I got when I was blown up. Girls into blow torches. It was kinky. But anyway, when I was blown up, I remember you know, the door to get out was on the opposite side of the room, and the floor that. I was on was wet and there's no way I was getting out. I was done. I was going to be like, you know, I was going to look like a piece of Kentucky fried chicken. Um, so something or someone, and I was the only one in the room threw me out. Literally. I was, I felt someone pick me up and throw me out the door. And I was wow. like, well, that's interesting. Yeah. So that's when, when we talk about things um, and people talk about it and most people talk about it, talking through their ass but I've experienced stuff where I'm like, okay, I know there's something, which is, I think at that point, I, I was like, I'm not really afraid of death anymore. It was sort of like, okay, there's something here. So, and it was mm -hmm. sort of like, I was flung and I was like, holy moly, this is crazy. You know, and like, and I went back after and looked mm -hmm. and I was like, there's no way you're getting out of where, where, from where I was to where the door was, not getting out at all. So yeah, so there's a whole bunch of things in the universe that we don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah. fascinating, and I think intuition and um, um, intuition is part of it. Instinct is part of it. I think. Yeah, um, but we don't we don't pay too much attention to it. We just want you know to go to school, to open books, and to gain information, like you said taught. before. Oh, how many people know? about right. uh, this guy or what happened yeah. at that time well they don't need to know anymore they can have you know that uh, chat gpt has already the spoils yeah, the voice uh, did you try to test it yeah I tested we talk it. all the, we talk all the time about you too um so we, <laughs> yeah the chat gpt there's a whole bunch of AI stuff out there. a lot of cussing at it unfortunately Poor thing. i do cuss at my ch i do i do cuss at my ai constantly because i'll say please i start off nice i'm like please do a through Z and it'll do this half-assed job. And then I go, you stupid. And I'll leave all the words out. And I'm going, I actually pay for this to, for you to be stupid. 
And then all of a sudden I'll get a message that goes, I'm sorry, I misunderstood what you originally asked. And then all of a sudden it's perfect. The minute I tell it, it's a stupid MF and everything else in the book and that I'm paying for this. It's not, I go, this isn't the free version. Daddy's writing you a check every month. All of a sudden my AI is like, oh, oh, he's paying. Well, in that case, oh, I got to give you a better answer. Yeah, then all of a sudden everything The same is happened to me when I... I, I tried to show in the in the when we were in the tavern on my birthday. I tried to show right. to the others. I look, they put uh, this. They didn't even know. Many didn't know what it is. Right. And I said, well, it's, uh, "Yeah, you can talk now to it." And I say, yeah. "I will talk to it Greek." And I speak to them Greek. And I say, "Who is Adam Martinak?" Say, "Oh, he's a famous uh, singer." And they say, singer. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Uh, yeah. But it's, it's a free version, so I was. Yeah. Well, we, we've done that with AI. We did this with AI. We took a well, we took AI because you can take pictures with your AI and ask what it sees, right? So we took a picture of a yeah, but it's AI. it's part of the frame because uh, you know. No, no, no. We took, but we did it. We took a picture of a very of a painting that we have by a famous artist. I said, "Who is it?" And it gave me this list of stuff. And I went, "You." I literally said, "You have no friggin' idea." And I didn't use friggin' of what you're talking about. I go, "Why don't you go some?" I said, "Why don't you take your time and do some real research." So it came back a couple seconds later. Said, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's buka, 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 buka. so what I realized with AI is the first answer it gives you, and I mean this kind of tongue in cheek is for the stupid people. And then the second answer, after you tell it how stupid it is and it didn't do its job, it goes back. It's kind of like a kid. It's like it gives you, you a know, lazy answer, and then it yeah, tries and then you more. have to go back. Even for the show, when we use AI for the show, I'll be like, do this, and it'll come back and go, what the? F and I'm like, no, you need to. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I, I'm yeah, I, but, I, I but, didn't but know. look. Crazy. Look, th this guy, which is not alive, but it's a bunch of uh, technological advancement that we have that it, it's it's equipped with a lot of knowledge, right? But it, it will never be, yeah, a lot of knowledge, mm -hmm. encyclopedical mm -hmm. knowledge. Uh, who, okay. uh, when was this fight? When it was this war? Mm -hmm. And who was born there? And how it's uh, this in quantum mechanics? Knowledge, you know, scientific knowledge right. and all this stuff. But so it doesn't we. have any intuition if you ask him, mm, I have two roads in front of me uh, they look the same identical which one should i choose yeah. you see it won't help you with this because it's not equipped with this what you are equipped with with the, the intuition thing though they, they, they even the, the instinct it when it becomes no. hal from 2001 no. space odyssey it's going to be awesome well, because you saw it, saw it in the movie doesn't mean that it's going to happen okay it's, everything it's, so far in the movies have happened if you go what back and look happened? at the movie, where is, happened. Where is the monolith? Where is the monolith? <laughs> we <don't... laughs> Maybe that's where how we the... determine whether AI is alive or not. Is does it have an instinct to survive, preserve itself? I think it does. I think as it as it continues, oh, it can be programmed. Is that, to is that, is that yeah. a reason for? I mean, is that? No, no, a, no, yeah. no. I mean, no, is that... It's not a reason. It's not a reason what because you can program it to it. You can you can program it to it. Whatever and whoever tried to destroy you, destroy it. And that might apply to, to humans also. So when oh. the humans try to turn it off, which doesn't happen, actually, it doesn't work this way, it will react because it Listen. will take it as a... When it realizes yeah. that the action is taking mm -hmm. it, like, like with Hal, but Hal at the moment... Look, uh, there are some... It, it was created in 1968. They didn't know, mm -hmm. uh, Kubrick did not know much about how it will go, the AI and stuff. He got like it that. pretty much all right, though, didn't he? <laughs> oh, he, he did a lot of things that is not working, actually. This is top. Actually, I, I like the movie not because of that. I like it because of the, the, the film in general. I like the science fiction and uh, metaphysical part of it. But uh, it, uh, in most of the thing, it's stupid. Because look, oh. uh, look, it didn't have any preservation um, program internal to avoid uh, turning it off. It no, had to have. It did in 2010. If you saw the, the, the 2010 one, it did it. I saw one. it also, this one yeah, also. I, I think for, the, for its time, it was ahead of its time. Yeah, for its time, point, but it's, it's, AI it, is gonna it, learn it to didn't turn it out to be like this. No, no. I think at some point, though, AI is going to learn to be ascending. Being there was a New York Times reporter that said he actually spoke with I no, think it was no, no, it's AI, not going to be. and it said it wanted to kill all the humans, and then no, he said bullshit. that he, the guy wrote it in the New York Times. I'm going to assume he's telling the truth. He said that the AI we said I don't take everything that is. This is an opinion article. It's not. I don't think article. it was an opinion article. It's, it's like in the computer thing. I, look, listen, look, I think at some the, point 
AI is going to take over sentient the world. AI. It's an opinion yeah. and it's false opinion. No, I because think so. you, I think it's real. It, it is. We are. We're yeah. AI. You mean you're AI. AI? I hate to tell. You. Yes, we are. We were created. AI is simulation. We're what are you? A simulation of? You're not huh? AI. I am AI. I'm, I was. I was created. Even if you wanted to be or not. Well, he is, but he's not a. He's yeah. a lizard. No, it's a he different wants story. To you know, the, the lizard people thing. Yeah, Illuminati. Lizards are, no, are not saying. AI. They are organic, beautiful, moist stuff that took four billion of years to. to no. Yeah. It took no, four no, billion no. of years. <laughs> you cannot do something sentient in uh, ten years like like you are. You cannot well, build. You cannot you, build. I think you can. No. Yes. You just think <laughs> you can. No, I'm telling you, there's labs that you don't know anything that none no. of us know about. In no, no, those caves. labs. In yeah. fact, do you know? Do you know that most of the guys who work in the with algorithms, they're programmers, etc. They yeah. don't know how actually the computer works, what it is made of. Do you know that you can make a computer from pipes and water and pressure? Only those three. You can make okay. a w w workable co computer, but it needs the side of the uh, of the planet that big because you need, oh, well. you're working with pipes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so it's, I it's, can just it's pay zero Apple. and one, zero <laughs> and ones. Yeah, oh, it's all yeah. The, yeah, zero. That's the whole thing. We all know that. That's easy. And, and and can you say that it's a it's a matter of putting things together? This this is what I tell you. This is the yeah. the materialistic it, point of view that it's all because of the Roswell crash in the forties. The government's just no, took it's, all that it's about that you, it you, you think that your 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 consciousness is emergent thing that because there are some atoms gathered together, some atoms, right. yeah, okay, and they create the consciousness that you have experience. Actually, right. the com what the computer lacks is experience. It will never have experience. That means endogenous uh, st mental states. It doesn't have well, it. it will not technically. Have it. It may not have it physically, but technically it can have the There is no like physical if I, if, I, if, I, if I read a book, wait, 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 wait. If I read a book and I have, and I, I can experience when I read like, oh, they, they did this car chase or they did this or they did that. I, the experience I'm getting is through reading. So AI can experience things through reading. No. Yes, it can't physically no, go because, drive a car. No, look, when, I, when I read a Greek book and I read it, yeah. It's all I, have, I get the meaning. If I give you the book and you try to read it, you get you get shit from it. I read the Book of the Dead, which is the Egyptian Bible. No, so your speak, experience with a Greek book, it's not going to yeah. be the same with the experience with my book. And this is what I'm telling you about. The essence what? of the book, yeah. it's not the language that it's using. Yeah. They it's they the they can predict they can predict the next uh, just the next letter or uh, letters uh, or or words that you're going to use. It right. Doesn't make sense to it. Doesn't make any sense to it. it. Doesn't feel anything. You can ask him if it feels, and it would, it will tell you yes, it does because it's programmed to say so. They are just programmed to say things. They are simulations. Simulation is never the thing simulated. They are trying to simulate us. So why they look so human? Well, guess why? Because the humans made it. It must look gotcha. human. Because if it looks alien, we're not going to use it. How are we going to use it? Well, we want to. We it's want, just we it's want. just an appearance, are, and it's the same. It is the same yeah. logic that people are mistaking. Yeah. That taking, yeah. you know, the girls can, or boys now. Everybody, I'm not uh, making sexual. Uh, mm -hmm. Can s uh, sit two hours in front of the mirror to make themselves beautiful, right? I don't well, need two hours, it's it's you. just the appear, appearance. I right. mean, a boy who is looking the internal beauty will never fall off for your uh, uh, um, external beauty. Okay, it I plays agree. its role. It plays its role, but doesn't play so much role for staying with somebody. It's good for meeting somebody. Okay, I like the face. He looks uh, happy. He looks uh, positive. Uh, he he's funny. Makes jokes. It looks interest. Mm. Looks interesting. Let's go deeper. And then you right. find the deeper and deeper and deeper. Right. And then you say, I'm going to stay with this guy or not. Or this girl. Right. So there so, is, yeah. Or, I, but or I agree girl. with that. Because I want you, I, 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 because girls will say to me, what a track. So the first thing you notice on a woman, for me, it's going to, you look at them and go, oh, she's cute or she's whatever. The intuition works get, there. Yeah. The, the right. instinct and, and the then, intuition, and then right? As you get close, and then as you get closer, it's the eyes for me. Because the eyes are the windows to the soul. And then after that, because beauty will fade in about 30 seconds. They have to open their mouth. 
<laughs> and then they get up from their knees. No, they open their mouth. And then you have a dialogue with them. I just did that for you, Vicky. Thank you. I do, um, uh. Then I have a dialogue with them. And if they have a brain, then I'm attracted to them. Because you can meet the most beautiful yeah, women because, in the world. Yeah, because the, dumbest, the brain is the most, no most aphrodisiac yeah. uh, tool we but, have. Yeah. The brain is what most for you, aphrodisiac. Vicky? What tracks you to men or women? Because I know that you and Rachel had a talk on your show about you're both bisexual this week. Um, and you're doing it with Yeah, no, I tried to be, but no. I'm not. Yeah. I, okay, I'd too much work. I don't blame you. Because we're better. Yeah, men are <laughs> awful. But anyway. So what attracts you to um, a man or a woman to be your playmate? I mean, Thinking about what you said, it's like, yes, that's true. There is a certain, you know, physical attraction, whatever, if it's pheromones or a feature or something like that. And then if they have a personality or intelligence that turns you off, that that immediately cancels out the the physical right. interest. However, you know, people say that, but it's like, OK, but if you have the internal part that attracts you, if the external part completely repels you, I don't think it's still going to work. It, it's not a hundred percent blind. Right. Like there's yeah. still something to that physical, like appearance that's going to attract you or not. I, I think that there is no to, distinction. To be, someone be, who's the, you know, I don't think there is a distinction between external and internal. I mean, what we see ex as, as external, actually, for our mind, it works as a, a partial information about the internal. I mean, uh, yes, when I cry, I it means I'm sad. When I'm happy, that's why I said that, oh, this guy is happy, looks, uh, you know, it's smiling all the time. Yeah. It means something to us yeah. about his external state. Jeffrey Dahmer was like state. good looking and smiled at everybody and he went and ate half the people, you know, I like these. But have you met, have you met, very have you made a guy people? who was uh, very good exactly. looking uh, externally, but uh, internally he was really, really bad person. Of course, it never oh, yeah. happens like this, like totally internal uh, bad and totally external good. It doesn't doesn't work this way. People also uh, oh. have learned and uh, they are taught to fake things. That's why we, mm. we, we, we uh, present ourselves in a different way in social media than what we really are. And, no, uh, I'm pretty much how I am like this all the time. You know, there's no, we don't, I don't, that too big. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that others don't do it. And we know that they do oh, it because they are right. always faking. People are. Well, David, David's really a female. He just puts on all that makeup and puts on a man's costume. That's what you've heard. There you go. Yeah, yeah, it's very mm. true. Yeah, so, sometimes, okay, well, there's so much to say different. about that because we know that the, <laughs> the fighter in the uh, Olympics. <laughs> that it's actually a girl and turned oh. out it's woman, but it's not. It's a girl because she was born girl. And then we have a mix. We don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Or, well, she's a girl. Yeah. But uh, think... we can see we can see from those uh, incidents that life is much more complicated. It's just black yeah. and white. Oh, this is man and this is woman. It's right. not like that. And the that's why in our culture we try to fix things because we, want, we don't want to exclude people from doing, you know, having a normal life. And this is the right thing to do, I think. And I think, um, I think, I think the world's just, I think the world as we get more advanced, we get more complicated. I have a feeling back in the day, um, you know, a couple hundred thousand uh, we years knew, ago. We knew less at that point, you know. Uh, I don't know about that. When you read these history uh, scribes you knew less. In, in the university, I don't think so. I think we knew more, but it seemed to be more peaceful and more like everybody seemed to want to work no, together. No, by and default, sooner, we knew um, less because we knew less by science at that time. And no, so, we don't. you got to read these. Have you read this, they had the tablets at the universe or the, the London Museum? That, that, it dispels all of that. It says, no, there's been advanced technology and people for hundreds of thousands of years in America, or not America, on the earth. So I have a real problem with people going where, you know, we've been advanced. Whatever happened that destroyed us or whatever war there was. Listen, when we have a nuclear war this time, 5,000 years from now, they're going to talk about, oh, look how advanced we were. There was no one ever like us before. It'll be the same thing. So, you know, it's the same kind of thing. When, when you blow each other up, this is what happens. So, you know, we don't learn from history because no one reads it. And now that it's there, nobody wants to talk because, about it. Because our instincts are more important. And instinct, for example, yeah. the wars are yeah, an out, are outcome of, of a combination of instinct and a yeah. combination of reasoning because they have a wars practical is, there's role. No pur there's no purpose for war. The Russian invading Ukraine, there's no purpose for. Well, uh, you mean, yeah. you mean there are not people who are gaining from the wars? 
Oh yeah, we're gaming. It's called the uh, uh, defense. See, the, so the there are some people game. who are right. who want the war. Right. But the, right, but there's no for the for the world itself. There's no reason other than China's mad that Taiwan isn't back where it should be from the 1600s, right? That's that's why they want to invade. Russia is trying to bring itself back to the 1800s. They're invading yeah. soon. It'll be Poland, Germany, and everybody else. And we're waiting for that. That'll be interesting. Um, so if you look at what's going on, the, the war doesn't benefit anybody except the powerful and the rich. It doesn't but those do are doing good. Those are doing the wars. <laughs> yeah, I know that. But that's my point. So, if I, if so there go, is somebody getting in. War, those yeah, are true. making the war. I mean, like going to war does no good for the 18 or 20 year old kid I'm going to go send to go die. You know what I mean? The war has no, there's no benefit for me to send him to go die. That's stupid. It's a benefit for companies to get more money and politicians to get more money. That's what well, that's wars the, are That's what they, they are after. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. But if you read history, our recorded history, and there's a book called The World, which I've told Vicky about. If you read and you start from the very beginning and come to now, every other page is about a battle. It's also about women, how they control their men. But it's every other page, we're having a fight. We're having a battle for this, a battle for that, a battle for this. And we need this. We need no one. There's never really been a point in our planet's history ever where we've had a kumbaya moment where we're like, why don't we just all get together and like? Well, make you can this read the history of art. It's uh, the most beautiful history. Yeah, that's right. But I'm just talking about in general. So to Reagan's point, when he said to the UN, if there was an external threat, we would all come together. I even think that's a fairy tale. I think if UFO, if we knew UFOs look, were real, the, we all, the concept that we have, there'd be no, there'd be no let's get together. <laughs> we'd be like, look, look, this, is, this is also a concept. What we mean history, our history is uh, some points in time where something important happened and we need to learn this. And this is one uh, way of looking at history. Another way is okay. there are things that are happening in the society that might bring wars, which were always taking place all over the world, etc., yeah. etc. Et but there are other things happening, uh, which the usual, uh, the usual uh, reading of history does not mention. That's why I mentioned history of art, because history of art is actually history of creation. Right. It's about uh, architecture. It's about how right. from the ancient uh, Egyptian, we went to Greeks and we went to Romans. And we went, what about uh, the Mesopotamians and Sumerians? Don't throw them away. They started it. They started it, but okay, they they are so far away. I mean, they are important, they're but so not that, that important. Yeah, they're, 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 they're around the corner. Make they, a left. Yeah, <laughs> so, they're yeah. they're on the corner. They are on the. Yeah. If you take if look, I take the history of uh, not only of humanity. I take the right. history of the universe in general. It's. Right. I think we are. You 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 will always go back. Right. What I was before, well, my ancestors. Ans we we right. since we are here, some guys. Somewhere at the beginning, I mean, since we are here, everybody that's alive here has come from the same cell. Everybody. Yeah. We're all brothers. And sisters. We're all brothers. And oh, sisters. Girl. We're all she's brothers sister. and sisters. Yeah. We came from the same one single uh, cell that was created no. from. I don't, yeah, no, I don't believe that. That's a bunch of crap. I'm sorry. Well, it's not about believe or not. It's about no or not no. no I know that. I, I, I read the book. They don't even. They just. That's a hypothesis that they still can't prove to this day. It's a, which it's one? A single and you can prove the opposite. They have proved, proven prove everything. I can't even prove nothing. They can't even prove how our planet got here. They've got forty thousand theories, and I'm sorry, hypothesis. Our planet. No they have good good theories about we how our planet nothing, came to be. Squat. Like every, we can yeah. see in the in the, we can see we have pictures yeah. of how planets. I got pictures too. In other, <laughs> yeah, uh, pictures are important. Uh, so here's the problem: why is everything round and there's no triangles or squares? Right. So uh, this, is, this is this is this is philosophical. This is something different. Uh, yeah, Philosophy is not that's science. A, that's a whole other show. Science do, cannot answer everything. Fine. Well, science sucks then. I can answer everything. No, no um, it's doing just, its <laughs> job. It's like saying, oh, come on, football is not baseball. Well, well it's not. <laughs> well, technically, that is very true. Football is not baseball. And it doesn't matter if it's US or European football, neither is baseball, because baseball, you use a bat. So, yeah, it's a different go. game. It needs it, different now, laws. Just so before we leave, so it's, say, different thing. We'll, it's everything that Dawn would love Vicky to be on next week when David's on because she wants the four of us to be together. She wrote that in the comments. You can see that if you can make it. There are five. Vicky's a very busy girl with oh. her own her own series on our show called and Vicky in Real Life.
And John it's also cool. has tattoos, I think, because she loves tattoos. No, yes, I do not have any. You. She doesn't have, she but she no loves. Tattoos. Well, I, I, I like tattoos watching the tattoos. I like them. I don't like want to have tattoo? one. What are you, from Fantasy Island all of a sudden? Look, the name. No, the I, I have a tattoo. I have a tattoo I like that tattoos. you can't see. I have a tattoo here, but it's with, oh, yeah. um, it's with light-sensitive ink. So you need a black light to shine on okay. my ear to see God. it. This, did it hurt to do it? You have too much time on your hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it hurt. You have too much time it's on your cool. hands, Ricky. So if it's we're, cool. you know, if we're in a club at night and you guys need to find me, just take out your black light and just shine it around. And mine will oh, be you can here. see it on it. But in general, I think the tattoo you have, you you just hide them, right? You have the hidden tattoos. Yeah, well, yes. So you they can. are more personal. Well, Unless she's naked, then you see them. Yeah, she's naked, you can yeah, see her Okay. Well, she has to be under your hair. Yeah, no so one's going to see that unless they're pulling your hair, your hair and giving oh, you a spanking. But there are other five. guys who... I have too many too. But there are other guys who show off the tattoos. They want to show yeah, it. They have, a, they have a sleeve. They have a sleeve. Oh, well, they can have all yeah. over, you know. Yeah. They can have on the face. Oh, my God. Yeah. Face, that one's, that one's a little... Yeah. The, the face ones get me... I, I'm not, I've met people that have them, and I'm like, okay, but, like, you better be really rich or a rapper because like no normal job is yeah. going to hire someone, you know, like, yeah. I mean, grocery store maybe, but like if you're in a lawyer and you have face tattoos, you better be a really good lawyer because most clients are going to be like, Oh, no way. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's a perception that we talk about, right? The instant, Where, your instant, uh, if you're a, a lawyer, they will go to you because you're a good lawyer anyway. There you go. That's all we care about are good lawyers, right? No, I'm just kidding. Maybe well, he tattooed guys, his, his phone number on his phone. We like, need them also. Four 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 four. For 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 help, call Batman. <laughs> that so, guy, yeah. Guys, as, as my always, telephone. In find in in case you yeah. find me, call this telephone. Oh right. my god! In case I'm lost, yes. Let's see. Is I'm lost job. in the wood, uh, <laughs> down on <laughs> the <laughs> ground, <laughs> totally drunk. Yeah, we'll, we'll let's close the show with this tattoo joke. I heard this joke when I was a kid. It's still funny to this day. There's an old really man. I doubt it, but okay. It's in the. It's not that dirty, Vicky. Calm down. There's an old man in the hospital. It's a boomer. And he, and, and he says to the nurses, would you make love to me? And all the nurses keep going, no, because they look at his little, because on his schmeckle, it says shorty. And he's like, they go, no, no. And finally, one, Vicky might have heard this. Okay. And the, and the no. one nurse says, finally, to shut you up, I will make love to you. And he goes, yay. And his penis on it says shorty. And so they make love. And she's screaming and hollering and oh my God. And she comes out and she looks disheveled. And the nurses go, how can he be that good? His penis says shorty. She says, I know, but when you make it grow, it says shorty's bar and grill, 127 Knoxville Avenue in Knoxville, Tennessee, 5555 USA. And I thought that was the funniest and cutest joke ever. That is just very... That's just a cute joke about tattoos. So there you go. <laughs> so, because, no, this is a joke wait, about I dated that big guy. dicks. <laughs> Which we think, I'm which we about think, how painful that tattoo must have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only the tattoo, you imagine how painful was it all. <laughs> yes, the whole thing. Can you imagine? Yeah. I just, well, when you're, That's listen, a kilometer. That, That's one kilometer thing. I yeah. mean, <laughs> when they tell you that joke when you're like 10 or 11 years old, you just think it's, it's funny. It's going to choke you and, from the inside. And, and, and just so we're clear, I have never given any thought to the pain of the tattoo or anything else of it. I just think it's funny. And now that you both have said that, you've ruined this oh, joke. I was yes. thinking about the pain. It was one of the reasons I didn't do the tattoo. So. <laughs> well, everybody, if you like what we say, thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it. Um, and what we will do is we will be back next week live with or without Vicky. I think David will be here, but I know everybody likes Vicky, so Vicky will be back. You can catch a rebroadcast of this wherever you get your podcast. Just go to Two Old Farts Making Noises. Look for Adam on the And meeting. go to the or, polls and choose between Vicky or David. There you and go. This is or you can watch you can watch <laughs> this on our channel, poll. of course. Don't worry, Vicky. You can, there you go. Or you can go <laughs> to the live section of our channel. No, and see us live, we can or you have can go Vicky. into the, the podcast. Yeah. There you go. Vicky, it's always a pleasure to see you, my dear. Thank yes, you. Promote your, what are you doing this week? Are you guys doing a social intercourse? I don't know. Okay, good. Thanks for promoting that I show. Don't drive that about, bus. What's your intuition it's about it? Bus. What's your intuition yeah, what's your about intuition? it? Are you guys going to do a show? <laughs> they, they, they need something to hear, you know. No. To, uh, no oh, the intuition says okay. no. It'll be on Sunday. Yes. My so, be on Sunday. Vicky, in real life, be. is... Oh. Yeah. We'll put Vicky in real maybe life. Arboretum. Um, I went to Arboretum. Maybe it'll be about that. 
So Ooh, check that there out. There you go. Yeah, Vicky in real life is actually pretty good. I like the Baskin Robbins in Korea that you did. It was very cool. Thank you. <laughs> I liked it. It was very cute. I liked the temple one you did yesterday, but there was too much Catholic stuff in there. I want to see Asian stuff in Korea, not Catholics. <laughs> I know. It was hard for me, Catholics. too. Yeah. I was like, yeah. That's, that's right. But it's a great show for people who don't know. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much. It's good to see everybody. Thank you to all our fans for watching. And we'll watch McCall. We'll see you guys all next week. Have a wonderful rest of your week, everybody. Cheers. Bye-bye.